okay, fluid resuscitation, acute pancreatitis. The same thing, if the patient is hemodynamically unstable, nobody will blame if you give two to three liters immediately of fluids. But if you want to go by the book, they're saying 20 mil per kg if the patient is unstable, uh, that's immediately, followed by 3 mil per kg per hour in the next 8 to 12 hours. Again, if you remember that or you want to go by the way, you can do the calculation. If you are tired, you know, you don't remember that, you don't want to calculate, just again, two to three, even to four liters, you can give this as fluid boluses. And then again, you monitoring blood pressure, heart rate, urine output, uh, to assist patient response to the fluids okay and after that you switch to slower rate remember the acute pancreatitis they may continue to third space fluids here they're saying you switch to a slower rate and usually i recommend five mil per kg per hour i said some somebody is 70 a kilo um usually 250 to 300 mil per hour you continue that until you feel their acute pancreatitis under good control and the main factor to tell you if acute pancreatitis improving is stabilization of these parameters and resolution or improvement in abdominal pain and remember if, if you have somebody with acute pancreatitis from hypercalcemia, it's better to avoid LR, right? Because it has calcium. If there is hyperkalemia, it's better to avoid LR. If there is acidosis already, it's better to avoid NS. And again, at the initial resuscitation phase, as we talked in the videos between LR and normal saline, just go ahead and give one of them. You're just trying to resuscitate and replete volume because that will improve um, hemodynamics and reduce acid production right um so this is how we resuscitate fluid in in uh, acute pancreatitis now another thing the, the it's it's known that aggressive fluid resuscitation in the first 12 to 24 hours in acute pancreatitis reduce mortality so it's very important and the one things i see is people not resuscitating acute pancreatitis patient adequately and uh, that's very important to know this as i said if you you do not want thing go give two three even four liters if they are hemodynamically unstable let's say the patient pancreatitis acute pancreatitis but he's hemodynamically stable um what do you do you skip this you come to this fluid resuscitation some saying lr in acute pancreatitis okay uh, associated with decreased risk of SARS, if you know SARS. I don't know how significant, as I said, take it from me. Nobody will blame you if you used NS or LR. If you consider about acidosis, use LR. But if there is hyperkalemia, if there is hyperkalcine, it's better to use normal saline. Okay, to conclude, you, you want to go by the book 20 mil per kg, followed by 3 mil per kg per hour for 8 to 12 hours until you have stable vital signs. And then you switch to slower rate, right? For the next 12 to 24 hours, uh, uh, up to 48 hours, depends on how patient responds to that. Or you, you don't want to do calculation, go give 2, 3, or 4 liters, and then switch to slower rate. If the patient is hemodynamically stable but having acute pancreatitis, you skip the initial resuscitation and you come to this fluid rate. And you may go back if the patient becomes hemodynamically unstable, unstable, you go back and give resuscitation. Let, let's say now the patient having signs of a severe acute pancreatitis but hemodynamically unstable and you kind of feel he's on the, you know, uh, on the edge to decompensate. Go ahead and give him the fluid resuscitation initially. As I said, as long as there is no pulmonary edema and worsening hypoxia increase auto requirement, that's only limiting factors to me. 
you may be wondering, we have not mentioned anuric patients, and then we'll come to that in a separate video. But this is how we fluid resuscitate people with acute pancreatitis. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.